Hello, it's Bright Out. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to V1 up steep hills. It's sunny and we're going to ski around the cross country trails in Planitza, where the world championships will be happening February 21st to March 5th. If you're trying to get better at skiing, I highly recommend you find a way to watch the world championships. Watching the world's best ski around as fast as they can is one of the best ways to get better at your own skiing. I'll be doing that myself. So let's go find a steep hill on the world championship course and ski up a steep hill. Let's go. Can you see this? I hope. In a couple weeks, Claybo's gonna be out sprinting everyone to the finish right around here. The beginning of April, they're gonna be ski flying right there. They're amazing. A steep hill is located. Let's get to it. Can you tell that this hill is steep? Not really. Okay, to start out, if you already feel like your V1 technique is okay on flat ground, that's a great place to start to just feel how you can glide out. Your skis are a little more angled in the direction you're going. Then as you get on a steeper hill, your feet and skis start to angle out more and more to the side. So just start to pay attention how things change from to a very gradual uphill. And you'll notice to keep your speed and keep your momentum, to keep your glide, to keep all that working and moving correctly and efficiently, you start to bend your knees a little more. You start to angle your feet out just a bit more, not as long as a pull with your arms, not as long as a push off the feet. So just going from flat to gradual up is a great place to start to feel how you shift and you change a little bit while still using the same technique it just changes a little bit then as the hill gets steeper i'm sure you notice it changes a lot more where you plant your poles will change maybe instead of planting right by the toe you start planting midfoot or towards your heel when it's really steep things like this so feeling your technique on flat gradual noticing those slight changes that you need to do to make it work help to make more of those changes as you move on to a steep hill so the other big thing i recommend doing is the foundational work as well the no poles and the double pole just to feel how you can glide out nice and easy on the flat and then as you start going up the hill arm placement and the force and power you have to use to get up the hill and double pull increases same thing with no pulls as you're gliding gliding then you have to push harder off your feet and angle your feet out a little bit more a little more knee bend as you start going uphill those are just some great reminders to feel the balance feel good leg position okay so Here's the steep hill. So this is a very steep hill. You can't probably really see it on camera. And here is going up the hill, V1 no glide, just stiff legs kind of bent over at the waist and you can get set behind here. You can get really leaned over and just reaching with the arms, not gliding. While this is very easy to get up at the hill like this, this is not how you would want to be racing up this hill or <laughs> gliding up this hill. And to glide up this hill, it's kind of no getting around it. Elevate the heart rate. It's going to take more effort. Over time, you'll definitely get more efficient at it, but there's no issue at all. Just reverting back to a nice leg, just stepping up the hill nice and easy no problem with that to catch your breath recover and then using more force and effort trying to glide more up the hill pulls behind your back now this is forcing me to have to put my feet in the right place i have to put my hips in the right place bend my knees enough to keep gliding stepping up the hill the right way and same with the double pull you notice my pulls as it gets nice and steep here planting back towards the heels to keep arms going so on flat ground i'd be planting towards the toe the steeper hill planting towards the heel find that foundation with your no poles drills your double pole drills it'll take a little more effort at first but then you can put those together and just find maybe you have to plant your poles a little further back give yourself a nice even weight transfer left right and a good glide and push a nice rhythm up that hill even when it gets steep, still possible. So now putting them both together, keeping that balance on the feet, using the arms right where they need to be, then you can still have a nice glide full smooth looking technique even when it gets steep and you can experiment with what you tell yourself to improve some people like stepping up the hill sometimes that means they step too high and then you end up behind sometimes that means their foot places right where they want it and then they can glide some people like reaching up the hill with their arms sometimes that makes people too far forward so then say like high hands so sometimes high hands can help keep the posture better sometimes you can just relax the low back and then that frees up the hips to place the feet and legs where you want them that's why the no pulls is valuable is you're able to self-correct your own technique it's a really great feedback if you can't glide with no pulls because you'll feel how it's much harder to glide without using your poles so you have to have the legs working properly and that's really that foundation to make it just nice and smooth and easy even if you're going easy and then if you want to put more effort in that's fantastic 
that's another great drill is just try and go fast and see what happens when you go fast. It can also help teach your body how to move properly. And then at slower paces, your easy ski will feel much easier and you'll look just nice and smooth and efficient. It'll still be harder than skiing around on the flats, but you can make it look nice and smooth and off you go. Something else that can help a lot is just playing with your head position down a little bit. Some people like to keep some people like to look up towards the top of the hill, but playing with your head position can help and change the feel of the glide as well. And then before you know it, you'll just be ready and you're free to roam. So sorry about the poor camera quality, but there it is. I hope some of that was a little bit helpful. And reading your comments about how some of the videos I've put out have been useful has just been awesome. So really, thank you so much for that. Thanks for watching. Let me know what I should make next, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. can also help teach your body how to move properly and then at slower paces your easy ski will feel much easier and you'll look just nice and smooth and efficient even when it gets steep still will take a little more work it'll still be harder than skiing up the than skiing around on the flats but you can make it look nice and smooth and off you go